what's up welcome back to my channel I am so excited because today I'm gonna be showing you some super fun and cutesy hairstyles that you could wear to Disney World or you can really wear them anywhere I love me a good pair of mini ears always a 10 out of 10 choice however sometimes I like to spice up my outfits a little bit there's no better way to spice up your outfit than with a really fun and spunky hairstyle so, putting the ears up for this video, and I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite go-to hairstyles that I usually wear to Disney World, to the Disney resorts, or just like anything and everything since I literally live right by Disney World. Thank you so much to Aussie for sponsoring this video. As you guys probably know, Aussie is my go-to hair care brand. I use all of their products for literally anything, and so throughout the video, I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve these hairstyles with the help of Aussie's products. My hair is is naturally wavy so the line I use from them is called miracle waves and it literally helps my hair just like wave and kind of curl the way it used to when I was a kid Aussie has a huge range of products for all curl and hair types including straight hair wavy hair curly hair and coily hair Aussie is also PETA certified cruelty free and does not test their products on animals so I love Aussie you can check them out at Aussie.com I'll have the links in the description if you want to check out their products so to start my hair is kind of curled right now these are like a day two day three curl but let me walk you guys through my little like hair care routine process just to tell you how I kind of get here and then I'll show you guys the hairstyles so first when I wash my hair I use Aussie's miracle waves it smells so good and then because I do dye my hair and I also add a lot of heat to it a lot I'm trying to be better at it but I just love styling my hair I love Aussie's three minute miracle and so this is a deep conditioner that just really helps nourish your hair tame any frizz is it takes care of your hair and it only takes three minutes in the shower so to get my hair looking like this I use this curling wand and then like I said this is like day three curls so it's kind of settled a little bit I'm actually going to apply my favorite dry shampoo it smells so good I just kind of First, I'm gonna show you guys my go-to hairstyle. This is like my favorite hairstyle to wear. I don't think I necessarily invented it, but I feel like it's become a little bit of my signature hairstyle. What you're gonna need for this are just some little elastics. You could use rubber bands, but I just find elastics work better. Take about this much hair, and then you can choose to use hairspray for this. I personally like to use Aussie's um, glossified glossing spritz, and then I just kind of like spray it on the hair and take my brush this just helps it look a little more slicked back and then I make sure to tie it like pretty high here and then I just make a little ponytail I will do this where you like pull it and then I'll do the same on the other side but it's okay if they're not like super symmetrical sisters not twins okay and here you have hairstyle number one <laughs> Now I did want to say that sometimes instead of curling my hair, I will mermaid wave my hair. Just get any sort of like mermaid wave thing. It takes a while because you have to go like here, hold it, here, hold it, here, hold it. It takes a really long time. That's why I kind of prefer curling my hair. And that's how I did my hair for my staycation video just a few videos back. Next up, we have a headband. Now I wanted to bring out a headband. I think they make like... Disney headbands I think that'd be super cute but I only have a plain white one but when you're in the parks all day like especially during the summertime in the Florida heat you probably want your hair just like far away from your face so I think headbands are great because you can wear them a bunch of different ways I think it's so cute something like this you know like from the side it's just it's a very cute look you could also do the same with a handkerchief or something just to get your hair out of your face but you know it's still curled it's still cute still feeling a little magical <laughs> I think just putting any sort of accessories in your hair is so cute. These little heart clips. And what I would do is put them like here-ish. These are inspired by Olivia Rodrigo. I think this is adorable, especially if it like matches your outfit. Like it's kind of unique. No one really wears their hair like this. You're not gonna look like every other person in the park. If you can't tell, I think I like to stand out a little bit. But I just think it's so cute. Next hairstyle, I'm gonna be using a hat. This hat I got in college, pre-DCP. Probably haven't really worn it since then either. Hats are really trendy right now. So you could do little pigtails. This is giving me very much like mom vibes vibes a little bit but like in a cute way and then you can pull out like your little hairs and stuff like this is a very casual look 
but it's just fun. I think this is so cute. I would probably wear this with like a crop top and athletic shorts. If you haven't already, I made a video talking about what I'm wearing this summer. I feel like this video and that video kind of go hand in hand. So if you want more like Disney like fashion advice, go check that out. I'll have it linked in the description or at the end of this video. And then you could also do the little loops. I kind of forgot this hairstyle existed. Let's see if I can do this side. I always can do one really well and the other not so much. I would play with it and tuck it in. The way I do the loops is I do it like I would a bun. I really don't know how to explain it to you guys. You put it around once and then you twist it and then put your hair through. And then here you go. I think this is adorable. <laughs> So this next hairstyle is what I have worn to Galaxy's Edge. I'm not the biggest like Star Wars fan, but there is something so fun about dressing up for Galaxy's Edge and like kind of getting to play into like the space theme. Assuming you guys are probably going to get to go to Hollywood Studios, you might want to do a fun little hairstyle for Galaxy's Edge. So of course, I mean this is classic, but space buns. I love doing space buns, but I like doing them like baby space buns. Yeah, we'll call it baby space buns. So just like I did for the first hairstyle, let's see, there's really no right or wrong, maybe there is a wrong way for this. I think the best way that I would do this is just make the classic little pony and then just like twist the hair this way and then twist it around to make a little bit of a bun. All my years in dance class, this is how I'd make my little ballet buns. Tie it around like so and then there you have your little bun I can always do my right side I can always do my left side really well and then my right side I'm left-handed so that makes sense but like then it comes to my right side and it's like let's see <laughs> let's see we can do it so we're gonna twist it um, should I have twisted it the other way maybe confused here. Yeah, I don't know. I got really lucky with my left side. I just look like a little alien. I love it. So next hairstyle we have is half up, half down. Now I just want to say that this used to be like my go-to hairstyle all throughout high school and college. Pre-Emily Enchanted, this was like my brand almost, was a really cute scrunchie and a half up, half down look. So I have this cute little purple scrunchie that matches my top perfectly. And I'm going to show you how I do my half up, half down. Iconic. The trick is like brush it up as high as you can, like a little troll. And then I put my scrunchie on and I usually wrap it around three times just so it's tight. Fluff it out, definitely do the pull. And then I push it in the front to add a little bit of volume. Very five-year-old child, little toddler hairstyle. And of course, I would always, always match my scrunchie to my outfit. That's the key. So this next hairstyle, I've never actually tried it, but I've always wanted to, like this specific variation. So it's bubble braids, I think is what you can call it. Now, I'm gonna be putting my hair up for this one. So y'all better know how much I love you if I'm putting my hair up for you to see. You're gonna need a lot of these guys for this. So these are like all over Pinterest. These are so cute. And the reason I wanted to try them out today is because they're very much like, you know how Jasmine, she's like kind of like the OG bubble braid girl. But also too, I just think this is a very like fun, like whimsical hairstyle. I don't even know how to begin. Normally I would use Aussie's Mega Hairspray to make sure this looks very slick. But for the sake of this video and showing you guys multiple hairstyles, I just stuck to the glossified. You just take a bunch of hair ties and you just put them on the ponytail. And then with each little bubble, I would go like that. So I used about six. I can totally imagine this with like a little puff sleeve dress and like a lot of earrings, you know? Guys, low key, I've been thinking about getting some like extra piercings. What do y'all think? It was in my dream last night. Actually, funny enough, it was like my birthday. And so my birthday gift was that I went and got two piercings. I got a second one here. Maybe I got a third one even. And then I got like a hoop piercing. I, I think it's cute. 
maybe not for me i also do like heavy makeup though like there'd be a whole a whole look that would have to go with this hairstyle for me to wear and that's it those are just some examples of some fun little hairstyles that you can wear to disney world i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun just like doing some fun little hairstyles i really could not do my hair without all of aussie's amazing products so be sure you guys check them out i love them and it's been such an honor working with them especially this year thank you guys for watching this video i love you so much and i'll see you in the next one Bye!